Hello fellow designers, uh, it's Chad Smith and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on the eyedropper tool in InDesign. Um, so what the eyedropper tool does is it allows you to change or to copy uh, pre-existing settings on a shape and impose them onto another shape. For instance, you can select this cyan square and if you want to change it into magenta, you can hit the eyedropper tool and select the magenta square and there you go. You now have two magenta squares. Uh, also, another thing I learned recently that's pretty neat is the eyedropper tool allows you to manipulate text as well as just uh, standard shapes. So let's say that we want to change this Bob Saget into impact size 24. I'll make it bigger. Let's see, 48 uh, and optical. Now what you can do is you can select the eyedropper tool again and then click and drag the text that you want to manipulate and let go and it instantly applies all the settings. You can see it's optical 48 impact. Awesome. Now another thing the eyedropper tool has going for it is a lot of settings you can change. For instance, you can select the little tiny triangle. It's really hard to hit. Then uh, it opens up this eyedropper options panel. And what it allows you to do is select the things that you want to select with your eyedropper tool. Uh, for instance, you can disengage the fill setting. And let's give this guy a nice black edge. Now, say that you want to change this cyan square into a cyan square with a black border, but you don't want it to be magenta. What you can do is you can go and disengage the fill setting that we've already done, select this shape and let go there, and it only changed the border. Well, that'll be it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you guys learned something, and I hope that you had a little bit of fun, and uh, we'll see you next week.